How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video of me coping and this time I don't know if if you can tell my face might be a little puffy. I I just, I just started I, I just I just got done crying to the new episode of uh of Jujutsu Kaisen where uh heads up spoiler alert there's gonna be Jujutsu Kaisen spoilers in here if you haven't seen the new episode and if you haven't caught up not even necessarily caught up on the manga but like read enough to to you know understand what's relatively happening so just heads up don't watch watch at your own risk don't come at me when i accidentally spoil something for you i'm sorry <laughs> kugasaki no nobara allegedly meets her end and i'm gonna be talking to you about why there is absolutely no confirmation that she is gone and done with forever like there there might be confirmation that she's dead but there's no confirmation that like there's no chance of her coming back <laughs> It sounds a little roundabout, but let me get into it. But this isn't much of a spoil video as more of a coping video to prove that she's still, there's still a chance that she's alive. This isn't one of those theory videos either. This is like, there's a chance, okay? And it's not like a, a Gojo chance where, where where Father Gojo got, got chopped in half. This is like, there's a, there's a legitimate chance that she is still alive, even though she's been proclaimed to be dead. Now first, I'll start you off with this this alleged list from Gege. There's there's rumors that it was from Gege or it's from a fan made that goes through the lists of deaths and who's still alive. And Nobara is listed as unknown. So there's no so we don't know if she's alive or dead even though we saw Mahito transfigure her face just in the new in the recent new episode or chapter 124. So if we take that, we can move on over to this Reddit post. Of course, Reddit because all the great theories and uh, information <laughs> comes from either Reddit or Twitter. And this is from the Reddit user known as I Want Power 1611. I was scrolling through so many Reddit theories and stuff about why she's still alive, and this is the only one that like genuinely encompasses the fact that like you know you might not be crazy to believe that she's coming back to life, and it's not some far-fetched thing about her gonna be about her being the one that's going to be taking down Sukuna. That is a crazy theory in itself about her coming back and unlocking her domain expansion. There's some weird stuff about how she's going to be the one that wraps up everything with Megami and Itadori to take down Sukuna, which, you know, maybe could happen in the future. But as of now, there's zero confirmation of her being alive, let alone taking down Sukuna. So I feel like we should move baby steps, you know, one step at a time. <laughs> this whole post is about how Nobara coming back isn't simply a fandom delusion. Gege has entertained the fact that, that Nobara could be coming back in the future, but Gege hasn't given us a she's back type thing. So one of our first bits of proof showing that she's she may not be completely dead. We have here a, a manga panel from Gege coming from Arata and Nito, where they're talking to Toto about Nobara, where they say, I finished treating the girl, but she's probably dead. Please don't make it sound like it was my fault later, okay? And then moving on to the next manga panel, where we have shortly after Nobara's confirmation of death, we have this random guy that we've, we've never really heard of before coming in and saying, I've done the same for the girl over there. She has no pulse and isn't breathing, but not much time has passed since she received those injuries. Let's just say it's not a 0% chance she'll survive. I'm taking her and retreating. So there you have it in, in writing from Gege that it is not a 0% chance that she's dead. There is still a bit of hope. See, it, it's not a 0% chance, okay? <laughs> but please don't get your hopes up. And I feel like that is both an alert to Itadori as well as the entire fandom. So I'll briefly sum up what happened in Obara. She was in the recent episode or in chapter 124. She was hit by Mahito, that terrible thing, Mahito. Oh, I can't stand Mahito. She was hit by his idol transfiguration right in the face. And this technique has been described as extremely dangerous. So basically, if you get touched by Mahito, you're, you're done for. And if you noticed in the, in the fight, Mahito had to run over to his main body to touch her because he can't do so with his clone that she was fighting. And this can't be cured because it's your literal soul that is being changed. Like, it is the shape of your soul. That's why it's not as simple as to say, like, as for Nobara to be wrapped up completely over and done with. Because you've seen in the recent, one of her techniques has an effect on the soul. So there is like little, little evidence, like here and here and there, little bits and pieces that prove why she has the chance to recover from this scenario. But she has no like definitive way of getting out. It, it's all alleged. But as it states here, there's no reason to bring this new guy, this this new random Arata guy into the, into the situation unless 
you want fans to insinuate that Nobara could still be alive. So Gege kind of gave us this opening to believe that Nobara is still alive, but without telling us explicitly that she is still kicking it. And moving on to the next panel, we have another another discussion of, of Nobara where Itadori is asking Megami what happened to Kugasaki without saying anything, even though you'd expect a question like this would warrant a, a proper response if she was both dead or alive. And uh, Megami just kind of looks down and, and Itadori assumes, oh, I get it. I get it. Probably assuming that she's dead, but they do not explicitly say. And if she was dead, you'd, you'd expect fact Megami or Gege to write out that Megami would say that she she's passed away or she, if she's alive he would say that she's still alive there's just it's very like open-ended things Gege is not giving us a proper proper yes she's dead yes she's alive so to all of you Kugasaki Nobara fans out there there is hope there's a whole lot of hope and it is in my opinion even though they say it's not zero percent which is like probably like 1% that she's alive. Based on the writing now and how cut and dry Gege normally is, I'd say it's more likely than not that Nobara is still alive. If Gege wanted to set the record straight, he could have added a piece of dialogue that alluded to Nobara's state, such as like saying that she has passed away or that she is completely out, like over and done with. There is no definitive proof that she's dead. So this is not your, your original Nobara cope, coping video of of a theory on why she's still alive. This is just the facts of what we have so far on why it is more likely than not that she is still alive. I'm not going to get into the whole theory of why she is needed to to kill to to beat Sukuna once and for all or how she's going to come back back to life. This is just the, the definitive proof that it has not been concluded that she's dead for good. So if you're a, a real big Nobara fan, Kugasaki fan, keep your hopes up. She's probably still alive because Gege is really beating around the bush here. And if Gege really wanted to kill Nobara off, we've seen it with all the other characters. Like, they just get, get killed off. I get it. Nobara's, like, roughly a main character. She's like, she's one of the main, main cast. We have a whole list of dead people. Why is Nobara different? And that's because she's probably not dead. More than likely, you're going to come back. We'll see. We'll just, we'll just have to see. I'm thinking about making some videos about the theories that are going around about her, but this is the one video that I believe captures the facts of the matter and why she is still kicking it and why she's not dead. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to, you know, hit the old subscribe button. I would appreciate it a whole lot. You know, join the Discord. You'll get notified whenever I post new videos and maybe go live. I haven't gone live in a long time but because I've been so, so sick and stuff, but you never know. <laughs> join up the Discord, link in bio, hit up all my other socials. They're all up here if you want to check them out. Uh, thank you so much for watching this, this coping video of mine. I love you all so much. I hope you have a wonderful day, night, morning, afternoon sunrise, sunset, whatever time it is for you. I hope you have a great one because you deserve it. I hope you didn't cry too much watching this new episode of Jujutsu Kaisen like I did. I'll see you all in the next video. Love you all so much. Bye.